So let's take an, uh, a closer look at an empirical study so that you can see a little bit more about how you'd be able to tell whether an article is one or not. So here's one that I've printed out that I found using PsycInfo. Here are some of the things that you can look for when you're trying to determine whether something is an empirical study or not. It's going to have different sections. So, for example, it's almost always going to start with a section called something like introduction. And usually an introduction will, of course, introduce the topic that the article is about. And then there's going to be some kind of literature review or a short literature review of the different studies that have already been done on that topic and the different theories that exist about that topic. So in this empirical study, they didn't call it literature review or they didn't call it you know, theories of the topic. They actually gave some specific names uh, of topics that they're talking about. But when you read through this text, you can see it's actually a literature review and a an, uh, review of this, what's already out there. So an empirical study will usually introduce the topic, then it will say what's already out there, then they'll have a section called methods, where they outline what method they took in uh, conducting their research. And the idea here is that if another person, another researcher, wanted to be able to replicate this study, they should be able to follow these methods and do the study again. So after the intro and the review of existing research, and then after they've talked about their methods, they're always going to have a section called results. This is where they talk about what the results were of their study, of course. And then we end up with a section called discussion. And at this, in this section, what they do is they'll talk about, talk about the results that they got. So in the results section, they just list what they were. You can see here they're using like a lot of figures, numbers, and data. And in the discussion, they kind of interpret those results and give you more information about why they matter and what conclusions they're drawing from it. Usually the discussion session section will um, lead into a final section, which is the conclusion. In this paper, they didn't specifically title it conclusion, but as you can see, discussion is the last section, and it goes all the way down to the end, and then the paper is done. And with any of these peer-reviewed articles, they're of course also going to always have this section called references. So I think that this, I mean, it's, it's obviously one of the signs that something is a peer-reviewed journal article. But it's, um, so it's not unique to empirical studies, it'll be in most of the different kinds. But those sections um, that, that are the, the introduction, the methods used, the results, and then a discussion of the results, followed of course at the end by references, are the main sections of an empirical study. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how to go into PsycInfo and analyze your results there to determine whether you're looking at empirical studies or other kinds of papers.